It is day seven of our East Coast tour. We're in New London, Connecticut, about 45 minutes away from our final destination of Kingstown, Rhode Island. Last night we spent the most of the evening going around downtown New London catching Pokemon. We got Cliff from Leap Force into Pokemon Go, and he is just rolling with it. <laughs> yeah, he is. Let's see what Leah's doing. Everybody's wives do this, don't judge me. It's much more comfortable to sit on the floor. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna finish getting ready and then head over to Extreme. Back on the road. We're all packed in, huh. packed up. <laughs> Slim Shady. This is not extreme airsoft, obviously this is a Rite Aid. What I need to do is I guess get Ace bandage wrap for my arms because the reason it's, there can you hold that? Yes. The reason it's all, it was just this little speck right here and then it spread down this arm and this arm because I played at M2 Bravo and I sweat all over, I sweated all over the place and it just, that I got all over my arms now. To prevent that hopefully from happening again and then it getting down to my knees or whatever, we're gonna get some ace wrap and wrap my arms and hopefully that'll prevent the spread of the poison ivy, poison oak rash. Let's see. We don't know. Hopefully this does the trick. Oh, actually there's rolled. There's, what is that, nine? Oh, it makes way more sense to get those ones up there. Yes. Yeah, that will guys. That's way smarter than getting four of these for. Are you gonna get uh, an ace bandage wrap around there? No. That Coban stuff. This is the best. Okay, this will be good for now. Okay, we got our variety pack of assorted bandages. <laughs> Put that there where you won't have to. You're gonna any. sit right there with yeah. me we so I have no room. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Jerk. And we have arrived. Finally arrived at Extreme Airsoft in Rhode Island, which is in Kingstown or Wakefield. So I've been here three times and each time it gets better and better. Right now we're in the pro shop and in the pro shop they have everything. I mean everything you need. Guns, goggles, gear, batteries, sights, smoke grenades for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> But they've got them. Oh, even headsets. They got code red headsets. And that's in this space in the pro shop. They also do repairs too. They even have snacks. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get some sour Air patch kids. snacks. That's the front, and then as you go through these doors, that's gonna be the staging area. So let's go take a look at the staging area and then the field. Now it's gonna get really noisy when we get through these doors because they've got two or three or even five giant fans blowing around inside there. Now, for video and audio, that sucks, but when you're a player coming off the field and you're super duper hot, those fans feel amazing. And we're not talking like little drinky dink, you know, like room fans. We're talking industrial size fans. So thank you very much, Extreme Airsoft, for keeping us cool. This is staging area number one. Very, very spacious. There's vending machines over here. And there's also, our, I think there's still arcade games. Oh no, no, the arcade games are gone. This is the rental shack. So like I said, they have everything you need to play airsoft, including rental equipment. This is the new staging area that they just built. As you can see, it's also almost as spacious. It's a little bit smaller, but not by much. There's still a lot of room for a lot of people in here. And if you look over here, outlets everywhere. Yay! So if you need to charge batteries, charge your phone, what have you, they've got you covered with this very nice countertop. Look at this marble. It's, it's really tile. nice. Oh, it's tile. Tile and it's very fancy wood. It's all, it's just, it's just really nice here at Extreme. <laughs> now before, there was only one entrance to the field and it was over on this end. It's that, door. it's that white door right over there. Now there are two entrances and I think maybe even three. I know this goes to the field and that goes to the field. 
Welcome to the new section of the field here at Extreme Airsoft in Rhode Island. If you watched the videos from last year, the area we're in right now was like the vendor area and had this AstroTurf everywhere and like nettings because they were because it was being used for like indoor soccer or something. They basically renovated this whole space out and added to the field. So the field used to be this very short L shape. Now it's this mega U shape, which is really cool. And Extreme has done a lot of cool things in this space. It's bright in here right now because we asked them to turn the lights on so we could film. But as you can, uh, you can see above us is all these lightings and these lights all turn color. So I'll cut to something that showcases that right And we're back. Normally at an airsoft field, the walls will be just straight wood and then they'll chip away and they just look really bad and they ricochet like crazy everywhere. Extreme Airsoft has put carpet on the wall so when the BB hits, the BB is just gonna fall straight to the ground. You're not gonna get as confused as to what ricochets and what are actual hits and it cuts down probably on a crap ton of the noise from, every, from BBs bouncing everywhere. So very, very good detail into the field along with that. All the buildings are colored and painted and they look really nice, unlike other fields where they just leave it bland, plywood or whatever. So a lot of detail goes into this field and it's, it looks really nice because of it. One of the other things that Extreme Airsoft does that not a lot of other fields do is they have a, like a couple of two-story building or two-story balconies. They're not like super duper high up two stories but just enough to give you that elevation advantage on people. There's a window up there, and the staircase is through here. And then if we go over this way a little bit, this green building over here behind me, that's another two-story platform with windows on all sides to shoot out at people. This is a train station, and you can see that they painted a train on the wall behind it. So as you kind of run by, you get the feeling that, you know, there's a train over there. If you've played here at Extreme Airsoft, you know where the boundaries used to be, or at least what the field used to look like. From this point to about that back wall where the train was, that was it. That was the entire field. So one team would usually get stuck in this little tiny L and it'd be impossible to break out. So now, this, this L shape has been extended into the U, like I said earlier. So both teams are pretty much gonna clash in this middle section. Now, again, if you've played at Extreme, you know the layout. This used to be a stairwell. Now, it's the wall to the, another second story window, which is right there. And you're probably wondering, well, where did the staircase go? The staircase is now on this side. So the staircase is up here, and this room is now double the size. This two-story building is pretty much the center point of a lot of the gun battles. This is the main choke point between the old section and the new section of the field. Which to me, that's going to make for some very interesting gun battles because not only will you have to clear the areas around this two-story building, but you have to clear this as well. So I don't know why, but this is my favorite part uh, of the new section is this like crazy alleyway right here. So at the game start, this is just gonna be filled with dudes just running down this alleyway. It's gonna, it's gonna look cool. It's gonna look cool in the video, I hope. Oh, they also built a new parent lounge, private party room, which is up here. That's what these windows are behind me. And you can see like a lot from up here. So let's go up there. And through the magic of editing, we're up in this player lounge, parent lounge. Hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of the new Extreme Airsoft in Rhode Island. Lee and I are scheduled to play tonight, so we're gonna go get ready for that and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning.